so for that we uh, in order to implement from scratch we just need python and the gensim so first thing first we have to import some libraries and like this you have already been told in the class like what is node to vec how to perform random uh, random walks and bias random walk so first thing first just import the libraries and after that this is just to show you the pseudo code of node to vec this is how it looks like so this has already been explained to you in the class so this is the reference and about some parameters that you already know so in order to make the random box bias what we have to do we have to compute the probabilities so in order to compute the probabilities what we need so i'm defining a, a python function in order to compute the probabilities the function name is compute probabilities what is it is going to take as an input it will take graph so that will be your input graph and probabilities uh, so probs this is basically empty dictionary to like compute probabilities of all the neighboring node of a node and p is the return parameter and q is the in out parameter so this is very simple code in order to compute the probabilities so g is basically your graph again and we are going to iterate through all the nodes of a graph and for the current node we are going to explore the neighbors of the current node uh, like uh, neighbors of all this source node and the current node will be the node at which you currently are and in this props empty list we are going to store the or append the probabilities okay so there is one loop for current node and one loop is for the destination node that after walking from one node to another node in which you are going to land so if the source node and the destination node both are the same that means you went to the node and returned to your current node so uh, we are going to populate the probability function using this and this is similar to the algorithm which you have been already taught and if the destination is in its neighbors then you are going to populate like this else uh, uh, you are going to populate using this formula okay so after computing you just whatever the case is if it's the source is equals to destination or it's if it's neighbors or anything else apart from that you are going to append that probability in this empty probability list okay and you are going to append all these uh, probabilities in in this props basically which is an empty dictionary for all the nodes so this is the simple probability function what we are going to run and after that after computing the probabilities based on p and q you are going to generate random uh, biased random box so in order to generate random biased random box we uh, we are going to define a function generate random box what it is going to take as an input it will take input graph and the computed probabilities max walks maximum number of walks from a node and the walk length like what is going to be the maximum length of a walk so again how we are going to do the walks so g is your graph and all the walks whatever you are going to do you are storing it in a list now you will start uh, iterate through all the nodes so for a start node in g dot nodes g dot nodes will basically give you all the nodes and uh, for i uh, like in range max walks that is for your uh, maximum number of walks so if you want like 10 walks from per node so from this node it will iterate through your maximum number of walks let's say if it's in this case it's 10 then it will go for 10 times and again you will uh, uh, populate your walk uh, with a starting node like the node at which you currently are after that you are going to explore the walk options so walk options are like that if you are at node a from node a where you can go like you can go to all the connected nodes so this is just the walk options and 
after that you are going to check for some conditions like if the walk options length of walk options is zero that means if uh, you cannot go any further from uh, any node there are no walk options then it will break and if it's not so then you will take the first step so first step is np dot random dot choice you are going to simply pick from all the walk option randomly one option like one node to go further and in order to just uh, you are going to append that walk into uh, from the first step so the first step you your the first walk what you have took you are going to append that into walk and after that for k range walk length minus 2 so walk length minus 2 why because what you have you already have so let's say if the walk length is a 10 so uh, why we are taking um, iterating it for two less because one is the we already have like if we are we at a starting we are at some node and after that we took first step and in while taking first step we already went to some node so two like nodes we already have that's why we are taking two less in this loop and after that we are going to explore the walk options so this is basically for the uh, biased random part list g walk minus one so this minus one is basically going to take the last note at which you are so this walk is nothing just a list of all the walks and minus one basically it will take the last walk i mean last node uh, to which you have previously walked and again it will check for the same condition like walk options if there is no then it will break otherwise now it will go to the probabilities so the probability of that walk this uh, based on this probability so it will pick the probability from this uh, the probability whatever you are going to pass here in prompts so based on that probability the next step you are going to choose and that's where the biasness comes so walk options and probabilities so whatever next option you are going to choose that will be based on the probabilities and that next walk you are going to append that is the next step you are going to append in this walk okay and these all walk whatever you have appended you are going to append in walks so that's how you are going to generate the uh, walks for maximum walks and after that you just do shuffle all the box and at the end you want all the box in the list form so this is how you are going to get that and it will return the box and after that creating the final function node to vec which is going to take the, all the generated box window size embedding vector size so window size is a uh, list of defining the basically window size of list of nodes and embedding vector size what embedding vector size you want in return so node to vec and after generating the box what you need to do you need to pass these randomly biased generated box to word to vec in order to generate the embeddings so this you already do so now let's uh, look at the this karate club graph so you are already aware about this j is equals to nx dot karate club graph so this is the main karate club graph we have already uh, talked about this in previous tutorials so now this is where we are going to compute uh, not not compute but to define a probability uh, function kind of this and how this is going to look like this is props so this is an empty dictionary kind of thing for node zero whatever probabilities we are going to compute that will be stored here for node one similarly there are 33 number of total 34 nodes from zero to 33 so for all the nodes we will assign some probability and that will be stored in this so this is an empty dictionary for all the nodes
now this compute probabilities will basically compute the probabilities so the cp is the variable name g is its your grabs and props is this this props is all the empty probabilities and p value and q value i am putting here is one so if you are going to put your p and q both the values as one so that simply means it is the case of deep walk and now we are going to generate the box box is equals to generate random box this is your graph cp is the computed probability of the graph this is your karate club graph and 5 and 10 these are basically your uh, not to back uh, like generate random box what are, what are the parameters we are passing like the uh, max box and box length so max walk is maximum number of walks per node what we want in this case is 5 and maximum number of walks per node is 5 and this next parameter is max walk length and maximum walk length will be of 10 nodes so let's run this cell so this is how you are going to generate the box if you want to look at wal es so these are all the walks generated random walks okay after that you can just run like node to vec function in order to generate the embeddings so if you will see here in the node to vec function which what we have defined here what we want we want a uh, window size and embedding vector size so in this case i am giving it as both the 2020 so it will generate the num uh, node to vec embeddings and how your node to vec embeddings looks like so this is how your node to vec embeddings vectors looks like so basically this concludes the phase one where we have implemented this node to vec using python from scratch and now in phase two what i am going to show you i am going to show you this uh, uh, library implementation of node to vec and the second part of phase two is basically classification of graph using node embeddings and this using node to vec so for that we are going to import some libraries again and we are going to use the karate club library implementation of node to vec so from karate club import node to vec so again just to tell you i'm using my local system so if you are using your local uh, system environment so you have to install this karate club the in order to install sim simply either use pip install or conda install so pip install karate club like this if you run this set it will install it in your system so again uh, we have imported node to vec and this graph karate club graph as well now in order uh, so in this it's very easy to define the model so model is equals to node to vec the walk length we have given is 20 walk numbers is equals to 10 window size 20 dimension 20 and this time i am giving the p value as 1 and q value as 0 0.5 and simply we are going to fit the model so model dot fit graph so it uh, it will simply generate the embeddings it will train the model and model dot get embeddings will basically get you the embeddings and if you'll check the shape of the embeddings so for all the 30 nodes the embeddings has been generated and the shape is 20 so all the 34 vectors has 20 values okay so this becomes our x value like all the uh, embeddings of all the nodes will become the x value and now we want the labels as well so as the last time we have generated the labels so club labels is equals to nx dot get node attributes g dot club and we are going to store all the labels in variable by so numpy array in form of numpy array let's run this and if you want to check the shape of y so 34 
like 34 tables corresponding to each and every node. Now, in order to do the classification, just like last time, we are importing sklearn, logistic regression, test train split, and the classification report. So, x train, x test, y train, y test using train test split, we are going to split our x and y. So, embeddings of all the 34 nodes, and y is your uh, labels, and the size is 20% test data and 80% train data random state 42 whatever number you want you can take here and this is where we are going to initialize our model so logistic regression instantiate the model and logistic regression dot fit x train y train and this is very simple machine learning task so y predict equals to logistic regression dot predict x test so it will produce the predict predictions for uh, test data and if you want you can print the classification report and now you can see the improvement in the performance like this time accuracy is uh, 86 percent uh, unlike last time we got the accuracy about 57 percent so in the last tutorial what we did we just used the features so these kind of features we used uh, clustering coefficient, degree centrality, closeness centrality between the centrality and all. So this time, uh, what we have used, we generated the embeddings using node to vec or you can simply, if you will put the P and Q, both the values one, it will generate the embeddings using deep walk. So that's for your practice. You can do that as well and try to check the difference in the accuracy.